We are poets, we are poems. Spoken word is shouting into the world and hearing fresh voices echo back. Our words, breadcrumbs in the dark. Our words dancing on the ceiling and 16 times per second they glean one by one. We use the fire in our belly as a cinder block. This is where I learn resilience. To carry myself like a fortress and a package marked fragile all at once. To make my tongue never far from prey or praying. My breath is not an open wound requiring an antiseptic, but it's always drunk. It's always breathing, it's the lifeblood flowing from the bodies of Homeric heroes. It's the heartbeat of a protester, tongue war-painted in a battle cry. I'm learning to change my bones into paper, foundation for the ink in my blood, shedding fear like dead skin, red and raw. I myself become a poem. This is where I remember my voice where I cultivate a garden out of my quiet. I found poetry somewhere between recklessness and a deprivation of bedtime stories. My parents, too tired for princesses and pirate ships, taught me how to use my own magic. You're the medium and the canvas, the process and the product. Daphne is a fierce drumbeat with a big heart. The sound of a wave before it crashes. We spit bridges and flip switches, with curl like quick quips. Margo speaks volumes in her pauses. With mouthfuls of tender moments that are breathless. We build our backbones out of vulnerability. Griffin spits more game on the stage than Sanjaya. Or that guy who used to be Birdman. We are confident that Maggie is a tenacious motherfucker. With words that don't forget where they came from. We love hard. Henry is Elmer's glue and scotch tape that tight-knit stitches hold his words together. He speaks a thousand thread count sheets with needlepoint delicacy and precision. We are instantaneous and eternal. We are feminists. Fighters. Lovers. Activists. Artists.